All right, we in the building today, man. We in the cockpit, man. We got the boss in here today. He ain't been in here many moons, but we in this motherfucker today. It's heavy. You know? Trying to keep y'all influenced and, you know, stay influential and give you some of this game, man. This, this fly shit. You know? So, <clears throat> we leading in. Just, just because, you know, you... you You've been in a rap game and you've been dealing with it and shit. And so what you think just overall about, you know, DJs picking and choosing who they want to play? Or not off not off talent, just off, you know, who they who paying them and you know, cause that's been going on forever, right? That shit weak as fuck. That shit fun. Cause you know what I'm saying? They gonna keep putting that weak shit in our face. But you know what I'm saying? They getting paid for it. So I mean I can't really Motherfucker can't really knock a motherfucker hustle. But, you know, it's the niggas that's putting that money behind that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The money talk shit. I mean, the nigga got that down to a sign, so it's like, man, it really ain't nothing we can do about that. But then if you getting paid to play this other shit, wouldn't that mean that you should throw some of the real shit in? Just mix it in a little bit? Some DJ should do that. Some DJs don't though. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what 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 the political shit be behind that. But some DJs don't. Man, you could throw a little bit of that real shit up in there. It's just like why why wouldn't you want to, you know, like promote or even put the platform for the local shit, especially where you from? Cause the boo boo niggas is fucking it up. The, the whack niggas fucking it up. The niggas I got the bag is fucking it up because. The talent ain't speaking. You feel what I'm saying? They just putting the money. You know what I'm saying? When you putting the money behind shit, the talent ain't even really got to be there. Because a nigga going to keep putting that money in your face. Mm -hmm. A motherfucker keeps saying money, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's going to get you by. So you seen the shit that Conway was saying about Funk Flake. Like, you niggas been holding down the radio station for hella long. That's like the, the, the I, well, I guess DJ Black Mark and them is kind of new. You know what I mean? But do you really feel like they spinning the local niggas? Or you they feel not, like local niggas ain't hot enough? They not spin. spinning the local niggas. It's some local niggas. It's some local niggas right now that's way wetter than the shit they be playing. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists right now, today, that's wetter than that shit they playing on the radio. And just my, sure. my city in particular, I feel like they cater to a lot of film rappers. Just, just that's just what I how I feel. Yeah, it's like, it, 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 well, I, I, or would yeah, you say it like I agree with that right now because <coughs> just from being around and being in it, everybody had a run. You feel me? Okay. All I, sides had a run. I get it. It just went back around to them. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying. You know, Clemens Point, we had to run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we, we had RBL, we had the five. We had G-Mail, you know what I'm saying? In the new, the new era, we had the new era, yeah, right? We had a couple other niggas, you know. We 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 we, we had we had our, our little shine. Even right. had the, what's the name? The little Yates nigga was hot before he passed away. Yeah. R.I.P. He was hot. He was hot. He was hot, but you know what I'm saying? Just as far as the young niggas, it's... It, it, it's, we got a lot of hidden talent in the city, bro. We got a lot of hidden talent in the city. And, and the radio be, ain't playing. And the radio ain't playing. You feel what I'm saying? But these motherfuckers that own the radio, these motherfuckers that we done went to school with, they from where we from. Are y'all not jacking our shit? Because they getting paid to play the other shit. They getting paid to play the other shit. The boo-boo niggas fucking it up. <coughs> That's all it is, bro. <coughs> they saturating this shit with boo boo. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't talking about a nigga music or you ain't saying, oh, this nigga wet or this nigga hot, well, he on the radio. Or on, on billboard. Or he on a billboard. Right. Or he at one of these shows. Or he at the shows they throwing. Because the promoter throwing these shows, these niggas is wiggling. They on stage. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, and they, the getting money, paid, they getting paid for these shows. The too. money. The money. Man, they putting the money in motherfuckers' faces, bro. 
That's the only thing that talk. That's the only thing that talk, man. All this music and all this shit, all the niggas who do get a chance to get out, is money. Yeah, and that's and, and and that's you know really just the DJ thing. And to be totally honest, you know the D DJ thing is just really one avenue. Like right now, it's so many avenues with. You know what I mean? With the internet and all these, you know, websites that you can get on so you can be independent. It's just about the notoriety of being famous. Right. So it's like, you know, if you famous and you're on the platform, put me on the platform so more motherfuckers can know me. Right. Because that's the only way a motherfucker going to get on, man. Just, that's just like, that's just like, now, don't get me wrong, some DJs do fuck with niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? Some, it's a select a few of them that fuck with niggas that are throwing niggas shit in the mix while the, the, the party jumping or the club jumping. He'll throw a nigga in there because he feel a nigga music. But, you know then, but then Conway, he took it a step further. He like, if you a DJ and you for the culture, right? Now, if, if you ain't finna play my shit on the radio because of the politics and shit or whatever, nigga, you a DJ, nigga, throw me some beats. Nigga, tell me, nigga, I'm doing something right or wrong or I'm doing something right. Nigga, right. give me right. give me some kind of direction. Nigga, That's tell me right. something. Cause nigga, you 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 like the gatekeeper of the radio. Right. And and I'm an artist, nigga. I'm willing to transform into whatever I gotta do. Right. So why not give me the game, nigga, instead of just passing me up? Niggas. Just pass me up. Niggas be thinking money, bro. That's like I said, it comes. But you are already money. rich though. It don't mean it, that shit don't matter. You see it. This shit didn't happen year after year after year, nigga. That's why that nigga finally saying something about it. See what I'm saying? This shit happened year after year after year, nigga. You niggas is still rich. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna hurt you niggas, nigga. At least give a nigga some game. Fuck, fuck, yeah. trying to promote me. You feel me? Like just as a D, and, and, and they like that's that was the whole shit of a DJ. Is the it's nigga kind of help? That they kind of help me, nigga. Give me some knowledge. Critique my, critique shit, critique my shit, nigga. Like all you gotta do is a present. What 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 E forty do for Big Rich? Put that. So you gotta on. look at that. He didn't have no ties to he, that man. He wouldn't have been on BET if he didn't have that. He didn't have no ties to that man. Never was he, sick he with him. He didn't have no hog on back of his CD or none, none of that shit. None of that. You I, get what I'm saying? I, I forgot about that. Yeah. You see, the presents, bro. Presents. That shit mean a lot. And guess what? He and, was smart. He was the only and, one that and, did it. And, and, and he went over a done deal. He he he, he bet it on himself. He bet, it, he bet it on himself. Correct. I don't need done deal. I don't need nothing. I just all I need is that E forty stamp, and I know I'm gonna go. Presents. That's all I need. To, that's all I needed to see. That forty presented that. Since forty presented it, we listening to it. Forty put his name. If you, on. Really, if you really think about it, that 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 the game been that. Because remember when they did the Sebo presents the mob figures? If Sebo, they wouldn't have did that. It would would they would have been big? That's what I'm telling you. Listen. That's what I'm telling you, bro. The money, bro. That presents, bro. That's what it come down to, bro. That presents, bro. Yeah. You know what so, I'm saying? That's how niggas can cut corners. So sl slide over into the next shit. This nigga, T-Pain, nigga. This nigga said, these days, if Tupac was rapping with these rappers nowadays, he'd get ate up. T Pain is nuts. <laughs> that nigga is I nuts. said, bro, these niggas is mumbling and all T type of shit. They no not rapper, even making bro. sense right now, bro. And he ain't no rapper, bro. How could you say that? He not even no rapper to even had that conversation. You ain't no rapper, nigga. Boosie was hot. Of course. Like, my nigga, like, you don't even come like that. Niggas is still talking even, about, and even niggas even is still that. listening to Pac D, D nowadays, right niggas now. dissecting Pac shit, bro. Come on, bro. Even New York niggas. Can't nobody stop thinking about Pac, bro. That nigga knew what he was doing. Nobody couldn't fuck with him then. And it's still hard for nigga to fuck with him. For real. Right so now, bro. All these okay. years later. So what's what's up with a nigga just talking about niggas? Why you gonna talk about the niggas that's here? Why you talking about niggas that ain't even here no more? Because them niggas don't know no better, bro. Like I said, 
When you get that money, bro, that nigga rich, you feel like you can say that. Mm. You can just give your dumb ass opinion because you rich. Okay, correct. Until you see somebody that ain't feeling that shit. Correct. Running the one of them outlaws or something. And the nigga gonna be running like whack 100 ran off the stage. Yeah, it ain't you ain't gonna, all that <laughs> shit you talking ain't gonna be that. These niggas is crazy, man. They buy that can can when they saturating the game with all that bullshit. It just, it, it just, it just make you kind of just want to shy away. Right. It make you want to shy away from the game when motherfuckers ain't even studying the gods of the game or the, the, the veterans and the motherfuckers that paved the way. It's like history. How you can't respect the history? How you gonna know where you going if you don't know the history? That's how you can tell who in the game right now. And what's what? You get what I'm saying? Nigga, right now, these niggas that been in the rap game or RB game, all this shit for the last 10 years, nigga. Pop been dead for how long? Man. Nigga, and he still got songs and albums that niggas ain't fucking with, bro. <laughs> that nigga outworked niggas for 10 years, nigga. Man, for real. We, they still got shit we ain't never heard of Pac did, bro. He he was so big, they they, they doing holograms, nigga. Letting right. holograms perform. Listen, bro. He got a whole museum and shit. Like, come on, This bro. nigga was the only nigga, bro. It ain't no <coughs> nigga. He got niggas trying to duplicate his work ethic, bro. He was the only nigga who went to the studio and did all them fucking songs, bro. He the only nigga that got all them songs, bro. The first nigga putting out a Double CD, a shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. You feel what I'm saying? The first nigga putting a double CD, a shit down. And you gotta, so, and you gotta think. Them was, them was all forty balls. That's all them, all, all, all them double CDs that sold them, them forty million, right. forty, how, however millions it sold, some nigga. Niggas, a forty niggas, ball, nigga. Some nigga CDs only got nine, ten songs on. Nigga, that's a disc, nigga. That's a whole CD, nigga. Yes. Ten songs, nigga. This nigga got that, 40 man. songs on the CD, nigga. Come on, bro. These niggas. That's, that's historic. That, that's not going to be doing That's three or four nigga. albums, bro, in one setting. The way these niggas operate nowadays. These niggas ain't giving us no 20 songs. And no, come on, man. Okay, so, so, so with that being said, you know, so who, who you think you know, just to, to the future, because we talking about the future and the kids and, you know, who you think the legacy is going to be more influential and remember is Nipsey or Tupac? Tupac. Nip had a lot of influence, but the way the way Nip it ended, the way it ended with, is just like so Nip, like sketchy. Nip had a lot of influence, but Pac had everything. Feel what I'm saying? He had the influence. He had the power, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and, and he had the white folks behind him too. That That's what was crazy right. about then that. Then not only that, the, the Black Panther shit with his mother and all them, mm -hmm. just this whole shit behind him. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That nigga shooting at the police, like it's hella shit. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like man, these niggas can't compare to that. Niggas cannot compare to that, bro. But but then okay, so so Pac is remembered, you know, for uplifting the people and you know making you feel better about being black and all type of shit like that, mm -hmm. right? And giving you the confidence to you know be more than what society trying to pin you as. Mm -hmm. But then Nip, he kind of gave us like financial. See this? He kind of gave us financial this game. Thing. This, and that's what Pac was saying too. Pac was saying, saying it, but he wasn't showing us. It. He wasn't showing us, but you he think was he was he, right. But you think he was on his way to that. Raped. He was on his way if to, he was to in that. A, if he wasn't up under that getting raped and they was taking all his money and all that shit, he'd have did some different shit. So so you saying like right, if, if Pac was alive and he and all of that, he would have learned whatever he learned and he, he already like, knew it. He'd have been on some diddy shit he like CEO right it. now. That's why he was trying to link up with the New York niggas and they was gonna do that link with the one he was talking yeah. about. He already knew it. He already seen all that. He already said, all right, now I know how to get my money. I'm going to get this nigga out of my business. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do these CDs I'm supposed to do for this nigga. Get just the same, same similar shit like Drake. He left everything, man. 
And he did it in like two, three years. You feel what I'm saying? Cause, cause remember, like Machiavelli was the last album, right? Right. Yeah, Machiavelli was the last one. Nigga, that nigga know what he was doing. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. With that money and shit, bro. You know what I mean? With that money and shit, nigga. Niggas get smart, bro. I'm saying and the like, nigga was already wise, bro. He already knew all that shit, bro. So you, so you feel like, like, I mean, but he, he, he went as far as like the schools. And all of that, like, that's cool uplifting the people, but I feel like Nip kind of installed, like, like showing a nigga how to, how to get a bag with the whole, how you going to well, sell you your gotta, CDs well, you to your where ball. the stores and you all that. You got for the times, though. Yeah, yeah, times. You different. feel me? We living in different times. Pop, that was 96, 97, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus 2000 something. You feel me? Like, our, the times were way different. Pop mindset in 2000 or something probably would have been something amazing if he was thinking like that in 90 something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you and, know. And, and if his if his mind was able to focus on the money and not get raped, then he probably would have been a little more focused Correct. on different Because he things. was already on, you remember when he was on, on that press conference? You mother, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nah, nigga, we got to do this. We got to, the community, we got to do this shit. We got to do that. And, and, you know, every person that, even even the, um, the BNT niggas that's from our hood and everybody, you know, he never charged niggas for no music off? Nah, because he wanted to see niggas on. And not only that, he fucked with motherfuckers. That's why he went and got Sebo. That's why he went and got Fote. That's why he got Drew down on, you know what I'm saying? He went and got the niggas that he fuck with. That's why he got Spice going on the song. 40, he went and did what he wanted to do. He could have got anybody in the fucking world to get on a CD that's going to be worldwide, everywhere. And what he did, went back to his roots and got the niggas that he liked. They music. Mm -hmm. That's why they shit came out the way it came out. Yeah. Them niggas is on platinum records, nigga. Sebo, Fote. E40 and Spice One. That's legendary shit. Nigga, and, that and, thing remember, always... remember, and remember, what's the name? The click was on um, Ain't Hard to Find. Yeah. The whole click was on there, man. man. Sugar T R it was all of them was on. Man. Uh, like multiple shit. Like not just like one C D. You know what I'm saying? He was fuck one motherfucker. Even even I'm talking about just even like doing business with niggas. Carl Kanai said after the photo shoot, this nigga tried to walk up to him and hand him like five thousand dollars in cash. This nigga felt disrespected. He like nigga, you black nigga, I ain't never finna charge you for nothing, nigga, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like come, like man, bro, that's, that's, but, but what that showing us though? What that was showing us way back then? You know what I'm saying? Work with your niggas, man. Man, we can eat, nigga. This nigga make clothes, a black man. Hey, give me that shit. I'll put that shit on. Take pictures and everything, nigga. I ain't man, finna charge you, nigga. Shit, man. I ain't finna charge you, nigga. Charging them. I wear this shit in the movie. Straight up. And I'm gonna wear this shit after the movie. Man. That's why we started wearing Carl Kanai though. That's what I'm saying, bro. This nigga had that influence back in the 90s. So, I mean, you know, so, so Nick really just elevated it. So, He's so, elevated. so, so then, so then, like it kind of just make you think, like, what's next? Like, who who is gonna be that influential next? Because because shit, shit is getting so the much nigga, faker though. Off, the in the way, in the way Nick went out with some bullshit. But that's so it's like mean. like how like the what's way, next? The way the way the way Nipsey picked up what Pac was saying. The next nigga gonna pick up his Nip. way. Nigga gotta pick up Nip. Somebody gotta follow that way that he was showing. Yeah. He wasn't showing it for nothing. See, that's what that's where the legendary shit come in at. That's why a motherfucker could put Nip up here with Park because look at all the shit he was doing and trying to show motherfuckers. So you gotta take what he was already doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and man. try to do it your way and elevate it and show motherfucker. It niggas is. ain't, man, these niggas is crazy, bro. It, it, it showed that a nigga that down the nigga that's trying to show you a better way. For real. It just ain't no respect. Look at Dolph. All that shit he was doing for all them people, bro. 
like, 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 don't, don't get me wrong. Like, Yo Gotti been doing, having artists and the shit that he doing. Right. But Dolph did it on his own, on though. His own. He did it on his own, bruh. Like, like, he didn't have to use Gotti or 3-6 Mafia or nothing. He did it on his own, bruh. How can you not respect that? Just ain't like, and then he, and he, and he, and he went out on some other shit. Like, it's man, like, damn, it's like, how we... Shit, bro. Like, it's sucking shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. A lot of shit be sucking shit, bro. And that money don't be me and shit. Because, like I said, when it come all back down to it, them niggas did that for some money. You feel what I'm saying? That they yeah, can't man. even enjoy he everybody or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Man. And y'all yeah. done took this good nigga, you know what I'm saying? That that, that 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 wanted to help you out for that nothing. To help you, you, you didn't you didn't even have to pay him or nothing. Like he just nigga did you a solid and it wasn't enough for you. That's crazy. And then we we living in today where motherfuckers are trying to make you do something or you know what I'm saying, <laughs> trying to make you be with on on what they on. Man. I ain't gotta be on what you on. <laughs> Grown as fuck, man. Right? Plus, I did this by myself. I ain't gotta be what you want, bro. So I so sliding into the next question, right? I was just saying the other day. I was thinking like, you know, like the game. He was saying some shit about how, you know, like he learned more from Kanye West than he learned from Dre and all of this shit. And it just put a question on my mind, and I was like, to a to a person like me and you. Who who knowledge is more beneficial? A, a, a dolphin that had it all and lost it and just living a regular life now, or a Fortune 500 nigga that's on some Jay Z ready to Jay Z type shit? Like whose story is gonna mean more? And we and, and you gonna you gonna get more knowledge from dolphin? Dolphin? Why the dolphin? Fortune 500? Cause a Fortune 500 nigga been on the straight path his whole career, nigga straight up. Been an honest man, going went to school, did all the shit he had. He went to college, you know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. learned some shit. Now you, you you Fortune 500 versus this dope thing, nigga that didn't have money, he done lost it. He on drugs, ten he lost times. everything. He done had 50,000 ten times. He can tell you so many stories about all the money he done ran through. I gotta hear what he, you know what I'm saying? I can identify where he coming from versus the Fortune 500, nigga. Man, he, he ain't gonna relate to nothing I done built. Nothing. Up, nothing I done seen. He ain't finna feel none of my shit. I'm gonna be just talking here. I'm gonna be I, I, smoking I, I, honest, Honestly, he he's so focused on the money and not living this reality that we live in. He probably just gonna tell you to get over it. Yeah, his reality. Man, you would be all right. You would be all right. Nah, nigga. Uh uh. That ain't how it's going to hood. I'm just gonna be all right. what? They be on some. It ain't nothing money can't fix. That's their whole life. See, nah, right? It ain't nothing money, money can't man. fix, bro. Nah, man. <laughs> my 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 <laughs> life and my soul me is priceless. Yeah, exactly, nigga. bro. My, it, 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 ain't, it ain't gonna be another me, bro. Look, so it ain't. People don't know the first thing about a struggle, bro. Not much, man, bro. They don't know the first thing about a struggle. So the dolphin game always gonna be amazing. Especially, you know, he done had it. He could tell you how not to what? lose it. He could tell you how to get it again. He could, man, like it's young blood. Let me tell y'all talking about that he uh, hit you with that. When he hit you with that, you know what time it is. Man. So, yeah, uh, Fortune 500, we can't identify, man. Yeah, but it's, it's just sad to say that this day and age in 2022, you know, the niggas is, that, that niggas is just respect the nigga in the Bentley instead of the nigga in the bucket. And that's just what it is. And yeah. it's fucked up, but. Yeah. But the you thing gotta know, you the gotta know the nigga like, in the, well, go the ahead. thing I don't like about the younger generation today, these niggas don't want to work for nothing. These niggas don't even know the meaning of going to work and working towards some shit or working for some shit. These niggas rather take, steal, rob a nigga, or kill somebody people. give it to them. You feel what I'm saying? A handout, you know what I'm saying? These niggas don't want to work for nothing. Niggas is lazy. 
this generation, this young generation, they lazy and crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Wow, the fuck like, up. lazy and crazy. Lazy and crazy. Lazy bro. and crazy. That's what I'm gonna get these little motherfuckers. Damn, that don't make no sense, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember. We remember we used to be doing shit for a meaning, bro. hustling for a meaning. We used to get up doing every day. other crimes for a meaning. Nigga go out. Nigga niggas used to play hoops or a nigga used to be doing something with their time. These niggas just sit around playing right video around. games. They doing all the dope in the world. It, oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Oh, man. It's, it's fucked up. It ain't like how it was when we was coming up. That's how we could sit back and look at this shit and be like, damn, this shit fucked up, bro. Because, nigga, we, nigga, where we come from, nigga, we wasn't seeing none of this. This shit is just out of hand. Young niggas, crazy, bro. Young and, niggas. And, 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 and you know what else, too? Fucking off a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They fucking off. I, I be thinking like, man, all that money, listen, nigga, bro. you ain't saved nothing. Listen, bro. You ain't saved nothing. I didn't hear young niggas. I mean, I, and, 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 and then I just be, I just be like, I be like kind of crushed. And I be like, these niggas is crazy. Niggas is coming up on 80,000, mm -hmm. a hundred and something thousand. And they, they, they young, don't know what the fuck. Like, nigga, we didn't came up on little shit, nigga, but we never came up on that house like that, bro. I, listen, like, dude, do you know? Ima like, imagine being 25, 26, and you hit for 150, or 80, or 60. A 60. Man, I'm leaving the city, I ain't never coming back, nigga. Do you know? I ain't never coming back, bro. Man. I ain't never coming back, nigga, for what? I might go get a job at McDonald's, nigga, in Los Banos or something. You feel me? <laughs> For yeah. real, bro. I'll be flipping burgers, nigga, at Burger King, nigga, with my hunt, nigga. Mm. Come on, B. Like, like, know the game. Know what, like, come on, man. What is you still sitting around in the hood for, nigga, smoking on a corner, nigga, with a hundred piece? For real? These niggas crazy, bro. I don't get these niggas, man. Okay. But they, but then, as you know, they, they try to say it's our fault. It's our fault because we ain't giving them the game. You know what I say? I'm giving them the game by me living in person right now, they don't nigga. Wanna listen, you, look, all you got to do is look at me. That's the game, nigga. These niggas don't want to listen. I'm nothing. still here for a reason, nigga. This position you was in, nigga, I was in that. Niggas don't get that, bro. I was in that, nigga. Why you think I'm still here? Because I had to change something, right? Guess what a young, guess what a young nigga don't say. Y'all niggas don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all fell off. We yeah, fell off. Yeah, y'all niggas. I'm surviving, old. nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Oh, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas don't know what y'all talking about. All right, OG. You niggas will blow you off so fast. Man. Niggas don't want to hear that shit. These niggas, they got it figured out, bro. Niggas that's some bullshit. That's some super bullshit. Hey, that's how the world is today, man. So that so so I was seeing some other shit too. You seen this nigga about the about the Steven Jackson nigga going to the O Block shit like he checking in, like like he went to O Block and he was shooting hoops in there and he like uh, you know he got on his phone and shit like I'm checking in. I fuck with the young niggas and da, 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 and you know a few motherfuckers was like, why would you go there? And like go check in and say you checking in and you making it seem like what they doing is cool and shit. But he like <clears throat> he contributed a thousand dollars to their toy drive. He there talking to niggas and telling niggas like I'm a walking, you know, product of nigga. You ain't this ain't your end of your life right here, nigga. Like it's other shit you could do. Like I know you here right now, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you niggas other shit. And they saying that you a $20 million nigga. Why you ain't there giving out scholarships, nigga? Why you ain't there, nigga, doing more? Nah, nah, nah. How much more you want a nigga to do? Or was he wrong for on some, like, he checking in, like, he trying to relate to the young niggas on some, I'm checking in. Listen, check this out, bro. Young niggas rule the world today, right now. They generation ain't control the shit right now. They got, they got all the money, mm -hmm. they got all, they doing all the shit, they the scamming, the killing, the, it's their world right now, bro. 
So you gotta understand how you can identify with these niggas, bro. That's for real. And that's how he came. He said, "Listen, bro, I'm checking in with the young niggas, cause these are niggas that's out here in the trenches that's doing shit. That's that that's after these these videos and shit go off. Uh-huh. Nigga, they mean business. It's not no game out here, and he know that. You know what I'm saying? From shit he so he going to go relate, but see." Then it's niggas like the like the Charleston white nigga, like these young niggas is dumb and they don't respect nothing. But you trying to you 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 you, you talking to a nigga because man. It's, because it's how you coming at these niggas, bro. You can't come at these niggas. That's the thing. You gotta you gotta. He know what he did. He did the right shit. You gotta know. How I to think come. He, I think he did the right you shit gotta too. Know how I don't come at these wrong. niggas, bro. Or they yeah. not gonna listen. You not finna just come the whole, the whole, like I, I, just, feel, I feel like people was missing the point of actually the young nigga sitting down and listening. Bro, you However, you finna, get them to listen, that's the goal, right? Bro, you For them finna, to listen. You not finna kick no knowledge, OG. First of all, you already coming over here fucking with me. Then that's the attitude they got. And then you finna tell me what I you need to be doing? I ain't you ain't finna 